touch it. You can't see it, but it's part of the human element. It starts when people are hungry for change. It thrives in the hands of the consumer. It's found around the corner and even across the globe. It's innovation, and it requires more than conventional logic. It blooms when it's fueled with disruption, free thinking, and imagination. The time to innovate is now. Set fear aside, invest, lead, and win in the business of innovation. If you're trying to crack the code of innovation, you can't ignore the human element. So how do great leaders rise to the challenge? They have to understand the DNA of their talent and find a way to prioritize their changing needs. Innovation is a process, and like any other process, it's only as good as its people. You've got to have a passion for wanting to help people become better at whatever they, they uh, want to do. Well, you know, the question is about finding that right balance. We create safety for them, we allow them to fail, and then we try to harness this. Trying to make people feel better about themselves so they would take more risks, walk further out on the plank, take swings. So when you combine ideas from different industries or different cultures, that's when you have the best chance of developing groundbreaking ideas. Trust them when they make mistakes, back them up and get out of their way. Every one of us has an innov innovator in waiting inside and good managers know how to bring that out. Innovation is no longer an elective. It's now part of every business's core curriculum for success. No matter what the cost. I can't accept losing. I've told um, everybody uh, who's ever worked for me that I expect to go to the Super Bowl every single year <laughs> and win the Super Bowl. Don't underestimate how helpful fear can be when it comes time to innovate. So this is the deal. We either change or we will cease to exist. Innovation isn't some big bang thing. It's something that people do every day by challenging the system. What is the opposite of innovation? It's imitation. Innovation is about figuring out what your customer needs before they do. Constantly redefine the rules of the game to affect change. It's about encouraging that different way of thinking. It's about bringing in positive deviance. You have to literally redefine the start point. Success is a seductress, and when she shows up, she doesn't always dress the part. <laughs> Don't make it too overly intelligent. Trust your intuition and your instincts and let that be. In the 21st century, the marketplace has a conscience. When customers and employees feel the corporation is doing its best for them, they'll do their best for you. Energy is one of the most important issues that we have today. Every company has to customize the, the uh, whole idea of sustainability to what makes good business sense for them. Trying to achieve the fragile balance between the necessity of profitability and the balance of having a social conscience. Why can't we do, uh, in a business way, uh, something to address all those problems? And that's a question of social business. Walmart is selling organic because consumers are buying organic. Priuses are, are selling because people are, people are buying them. You've got to have substance. You've got to be serious about it.